Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of Tyria Talk. My name is Richie and this show is all about the fantastic upcoming MMO Guild Wars 2. This is episode number 23 and today we're going to be talking about the beta weekend event that's coming up tomorrow. So before we get into that there's a couple topics I want to talk about. First of all I have a uh, new intro you probably just saw it. It's got some art, it's got some music and I'm going to put links below in the description to the amazing artist and the amazing composer who built those two creations. So so please uh, go check out their stuff. They're awesome. So thank you so much, guys, for creating this stuff and allowing me to use it. Uh, next, uh, I'm not sure if you've been following GameBreaker.tv, but I have been uh, guest hosting on their Guild Wars 2 show called Guildcast for several weeks now, and they have actually asked me to be a regular on their show. Uh, the show goes live every Tuesday evening. That's actually a new a new day. It goes live Tuesday evenings at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It goes live. You can actually join the chat room and interact with us while we're uh, doing the show. And then uh, it goes up usually the next day on GameBreaker.tv so you can find all of the episodes that you may have missed. So that's exciting. And in addition, the GameBreaker crew and myself are going to be joining the Dark Haven server on Guild Wars 2 during this uh, beta weekend event. So we're probably going to have a guild there that you can join so we can interact with everybody. And we're probably going to do some world versus world versus the other server. So if you want to get on that, join the Dark Haven server. Um, I'm also going to be doing a couple live stream shows uh, this weekend for Massively.com. The first show is tomorrow night, Friday night. That's April 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I'm going to be playing Guild Wars 2, obviously. And then the second show is at 12 noon um, on Saturday the 28th. So if you want to see me playing some Guild Wars 2, ask some questions, give me some feedback, uh, please... Uh, I'll put a link below to the, the Twitch TV um, account for Massively TV. So I hope all of those things are uh, appealing to you or something. Okay, great. So let's talk about the Beta Weekend event. Uh, the Beta Weekend event is for anyone who has pre-purchased Guild Wars 2. You should have gotten a serial code um, that came on the receipt, or maybe you got a pre-purchase box with a code in it. You need to register that code at register.guildwars2.com and make sure that it's uh, tied to you know your Guild Wars 2 account. Um, if you've done that, you should have gotten an email by now of instructions on how to download the client. If you haven't, there are actually direct download links. Um, I can probably post some links below to, to kind of help you, guide you, um, if you're having trouble with that. Um, obviously, I'm not Arena Net support, but I will do what I can to try to try to assist with uh, those links down there. So you click on the link, and you should be able to download and install it and log in as long as you have uh, uh, the code attached to a, an account, a pre-purchase code. There's also other people that have gotten in that uh, don't ha haven't pre-purchased. People give got some codes from different giveaways or the PAX East uh, convention. So, but anyway, it should be a huge fun time. It goes from. Um, this is going to be Pacific Times because that's where ArenaNet is. Uh, it goes from Friday tomorrow at noon, and it goes all the way to Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Those are all Pacific Times. Um, during this uh, beta weekend, the, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of content that's available. You can play as a Norn, a Human, or a Char, the same races that we've seen in the other beta events. Asura and Silvari are still locked away. Um, you can level up a tune. You can you can witness the personal story of of each of those races up to level twenty, and uh, you can participate in competitive PvP, and you can also uh, participate in world versus world. They didn't actually specifically mention any dungeons in the uh, the blog post or the the information that they released. So I'm assuming that we can't do Ascalon Catacombs, even though that was part of previous beta events. But I could be wrong on that. They just didn't mention it specifically. What they did mention, and this is the the big different thing, the first time for the first time we're going to be able to see Lion's Arch. All right, this will be the sixth uh, big city. There's one capital city for each of the races, and then there's Lion's Arch, just kind of like, uh, you know, not neutral per se, but you know, not affiliated with one of the races. And anyone who's played Guild Wars One is very familiar with Lion's Arch. That was the big hub town. That was the seat of power in uh, Krita, 
And uh, since this takes place 250 years later, it's a bit different. Yeah, like big elder dragon Zaitan comes out of the ocean with the continent or the, the, the land of ore with it and creates huge tidal waves, destroys Lion's Arch, and it gets rebuilt by pirates and corsairs and all of the, the broken ships and stuff like that from the flood are integrated in, into the, all the architecture and the city looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see it in game for the first time, but that's something that you should check out if you're in the beta weekend. So that uh, kind of like sums up what's going on. Um, just a couple of things I want to, to kind of mention. If you haven't played Guild Wars 2 before in any of the betas or at a convention or anything like that, there's a couple of things that you should um, maybe keep in mind. Just some advice from my end. Um, you don't have to do this at all. I won't be offended in the slightest. Okay, maybe I will. So you better do it. No, just kidding. Um, so a couple of things. First of all, just remember that this doesn't necessarily, especially the combat, doesn't play like other MMOs. It's more action-y. It's more dynamic. You don't have to just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with, the, with the monster you're fighting and just take hits. Um, in fact, that's probably a really bad idea. It'll work okay in the very, very beginning, but later on, you want to be dodging out of the way of stuff. You have a little dodge meter on the bottom right-hand side. You can dodge every so often and get away from attacks. Um, you also don't need to have a, a, a monster targeted in order to hit them. Your spells will fire just when you press them, and they will fire even if you're out of range of a monster. So just keep that in mind. Other MMOs, when you push a button, it'll say something like, you know, you can't use that ability yet, or target not in range, or something like that to kind of tell you, hey, you know, you can't hit that yet. But in Guild Wars 2, you can fire off fireballs, and they'll do nothing um, unless you're in range. So just keep that in mind, just so you, you know, you realize that it, it plays differently than other MMOs. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're if you're looking at Guild Wars 2 and you want to uh, eventually do like the, the hardest content in the game, maybe some of the explorable mode dungeons, or you want to be very competitive in PvP, start using these beta events to train your your you know your muscle memory. Make sure you're setting up your you know your hotkeys the way you want them. Make sure that you're actually hitting the buttons for your action abilities. Don't start getting into bad habits like clicking your abilities or doing you know anything like that. Start playing right from the start the way that you think is going to be best for you long term. So you don't have to relearn anything or change anything later on. It's it's very important. Like do it while you're leveling up. Do it while you know your your weapons don't even have all the skills you know unlocked yet. Just learn from the ground up. It'll be a lot smoother transition. Um, and another bit of advice, if you're looking to kind of use these beta weekends to figure out what profession you're going to play when the game launches, like I am, um, a good thing to do is play a couple levels of, 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 of a profession and then port, transport yourself to the mists. And I think you do that by hitting H, which is the hero panel, and then there should be an option to, to kind of teleport to the mists. And the mists is a PvP staging area where your character gets bumped up to level 80, and all of your trait lines are unlocked. You can spend all your trait points. You can look at all the traits for the, to the profession that you are. There's a PvP vendor there that will allow you to get all the different weapons, and all your weapon skills will be unlocked as well. So you can really build your character, look at all over the abilities, try them out, and you can even queue up for the, the competitive PvP and, uh, you know, try your character out, how it's going to play at level 80. Now, don't expect to go right in there and, you know, and know what you're doing. It's totally okay. Just go in there and fail. You know, just try it out. See what the abilities do. Make some changes in between matches. Go back in. You know, have some fun with it. Don't get so concerned about how good you are or not. This is the perfect opportunity to kind of try out a max level character and, and see if you're going to like this class or this profession, you know, long term. You know, other MMOs, you started off and... And, you know, you actually have to level the tune all the way up before you really see what it's all about. This is a great opportunity to, to test out the, 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 the max level characters and see if that's what you want. So you can go in there and, and try them all out in one beta weekend, you know. Um, and that's, that's a really cool feature. So do, do that as well. Um, the last thing I'll kind of say, well, it might be the last, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it anyway, is um, when you come out of the tutorial area, you will have your personal story. And it kind of works like a, a just typical quest in an MMO. You know, you, it's kind of linear, and you you know, there's choices to make, but you know, you you kind of follow along, you know, different uh, a quest chain basically. And there's also these renowned hearts, which are different areas uh, of the map where people are going to need help and stuff like that. So you are kind of led along to different things if you want to do them. But I will also mention to you that you don't have to do these things. You don't have to do the personal story. You don't have to do the renowned hearts. You can just open up your map, look, see something cool off in the distance. Maybe there's a cave. Maybe there's, you know, a cliff or, you know, something that you want to go check out and just run your character there. 
Go ahead and find your inner explorer. Things will happen to you in this game world just by you going different places. So you don't actually have to, you know, follow any certain certain path. You will uncover really awesome stuff just by exploring the world. So, you know, try to try to try to explore a little bit and, you know, not necessarily, you know, take the uh take the take the road that that is most apparent to you. So that's uh that's pretty much it. Um I'm looking so forward to it. I think this is going to be a blast. Um I think I'm going to try out a necromancer this this weekend. Um I don't know too much about them. I haven't played them uh before in Guild Wars 2. I want to kind of get my feet wet with them so I can kind of get closer to making a decision on what I'm going to play cuz I know everybody keeps asking, what are you going to play? What are you going to play? I don't no yet. Um so I'm going to try to try to weed some more professions out this weekend and and see uh see how it goes. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for now. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments field below. Make sure you check out my live stream shows tomorrow night and Saturday at noon. Um join Dark Haven server, join the Game Breaker TV crew, watch guild casts on Tuesday evenings and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Share the link with all your friends and help me grow my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you want to contact me, you can find me on Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll put all the links on the screen or below or both. So that's it, and uh, have a great day. And I'll see you in the beta. Beta, beta, beta. Beta, beta, beta. Beta, beta, beta. Beta, beta, beta. Snapple doesn't like the char. Right? Right? Oh, express smells.